Hey everyone, today we're going to be getting the game Last Epoch working on the Apple Silicon Mac. So there's no Mac version of this game, this is a Windows only game, but it actually works very well through the Apple Silicon Mac using a translation layer called Crossover. And we're going to be making use of something called Game Porting Toolkit's D3D Metal. That's going to allow us to run this DirectX 11 game on the Apple Silicon Mac actually very, very well. So you can see some of the gameplay footage, it's actually very smooth. And we're going to get this working on your Apple Silicon Mac pretty much as well, depending on which Mac that you have. We're going to be doing a full install tutorial today. So we're going to be installing Steam via Crossover, the Windows version of Steam. We're going to be installing Crossover, which is the Windows translation layer. We're going to be making use of D3D Metal. We're going to be installing the Windows version of Steam. We're going to install the last epoch on this Mac and get it working as well as possible. So the first thing that we are going to do is download Crossover 24. So make sure to scroll down and then click on the link at the top of the description. Every single purchase that's made through this link helps to support this channel and the content that I create. So click on the link at the top of the description here and you'll be taken to the Codebooters website. And in this promo code box, make sure to use the code Apple Gaming Wiki New and you'll get a huge 20% discount off your purchase. But if you're not quite ready to commit to a full purchase of Crossover, then make sure to go back to the homepage and then scroll down and you can make use of a fully featured 14 day free trial here. Just press the try now button and then scroll down and then enter your name and email address. And I'm gonna press the download trial now button to make use of this trial. So once you have made a purchase, then go and log into your Codeweaver's account and then go to the downloads button here and then make sure to download the latest version of Crossover. So once that's finished downloading, we're gonna to go to our finder button here and then go to downloads and then we have our crossover 24.0.0 zip which is the latest at the time of recording double click and then it's going to go ahead and extract into downloads we're going to drag and drop this into our applications folder here so just drag and drop and then within our applications folder we're going to find crossover and then double click and it's saying here crossover is now downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it press open so now that crossover is open we're going to go ahead and install the most popular windows game launcher which is steam so i'm going to press this install button on the bottom left and i'm going to type in the word steam and we're going to click on the steam button here and this is basically a steam installer wizard we're going to press the install button here and it's going to go ahead and automate all of the processes that we need for steam to install including building what's called a bottle and then downloading any dependencies that it needs so here it's saying creating steam bottle installing fonts here if anything pops up just press yes and a lot of this just happens in the background so now we have the windows steam installer opened up here we're going to go through the windows installation process just press yes to english we're going to install it within the default location within the bottle and then press next and what i normally advise people to do is not to click run steam I'm going to press the finish button here so that the entire bottle can finish creating. So this means that this bottle entry has now been listed here. So at this stage, I would advise changing some settings. It depends on the game that you're going to be running as well. So D3D Metal, for example, which comes from Apple's Game Porting Toolkit, allows you to run DirectX 11 and 12 games on the Mac. If you want to turn this on, most games are going to benefit from this. Or alternatively, we have DXVK, which is the older method for running DirectX 11 games. Some games work better through this, for example, Overwatch 2. So you might want to toggle this on instead. So you can only toggle one or the other. And if you have neither of these turned on and you're trying to run a DirectX 11 or 12 game, then that's going to run through Wine D3D. Also as well, we have the option of eSync or M-Sync. I will turn on M-Sync, which is compatible for most games, and it's going to increase performance as well. So just click on this reboot bottle and enable M-Sync. So we're basically ready to open up Steam. So just double click on the Steam icon here. And it's saying here it's downloading an update. So that's the Windows version of Steam updating itself. So now the Steam login window has opened up. So if you don't have a Steam account already, you can go ahead and create one for free here, or you can log in or use your smartphone to scan this QR code. So I'm going to be scanning with my phone here and it's going to go ahead and log in for us. And now we've basically logged into the Windows version of Steam instead of the Mac version. And now we can now run many of these Windows games on the Mac. So now what we're going to do is to do a search for Last Epoch and we're going to go ahead and download this game. If you haven't purchased it already, you need to make a purchase. This is going to be the Windows version of the game. And once we've added it to cart and then made a purchase for ourselves, what we're going to do is find it in our library. So we're going to go here, type in Last epoch and then we're going to install it so install it in its default location within the steam bottle or anywhere else on your mac and then we're going to press the play button so i'm going to press play now and we to launch the game so here it's asking us whether we want to play this offline or online so i'm going to select online here and press play here we're going to accept the end user licensing agreement press accept and now the game is launching so you can see this window has now opened up so this is the splash screen, just let this load. So now you can see that the game has loaded up. It's asking me for a display name. So I'm just gonna enter my display name here. I'm gonna enter my email address and then I'm going to enter my account. Then I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna change my graphics settings here. So once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and close this. And then I'm gonna press the play online button. So as you can see, the game runs really smoothly and I'm very happy with it running on the Apple Silicon Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.